Hey everybody, it's Alexis from Project Lore, and this is the community wrap-up for the third and final week of Karazhan, episode 9.15. This week started out with the Shade of Iran, which is always a really hectic fight, but the guys in Project Lore managed to make it even extra hectic. Wait, wait, get out of the blizzard! You're standing in the blizzard, Wait! Oh, come on! Oh. Well, I'm out of here. Thanks, guys. It was fun playing. <laughs> blizzard! You know what I'm gonna know. do? I'm gonna come over here and watch how you play. Yeah, you're not running for I'm in chains. You're definitely not hitting hard enough. Oh, oh mass polymorph. Crap. Nail his ass. You got him. Come on, boys. Girls. From Aphrodite's. Come on, bitches! He's done. Come on, yes! yes! Nice. Hey, at least nobody completely nubbed out and moved in the flame wreath. Another spite? Worst? Kill ever. I am really surprised that the guys managed to succeed through all of that miscommunication. Bads. Zerg! Who's that standing in the beam, Weich? Oh, that's bad news. Go get in the red beam! Not yet, no, don't do anything! No. Don't f***ing do anything! Don't listen to don't Jerry listen. ever, that's what you do. <laughs> get in, get in! I'm the, getting get in, in there, there. I'm getting no. in there! The green got me. Everybody who's running, stop running. Loud noises! You want me to get in green? No, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it! Yes. You got it, you got, I got it. it. I got this it. is going so well! Shit. Tal died. Sorry, Tal. Dorks, on blue. Oh, okay, I got a new job? Yes, blue portal, get in it and fuck. Uh, I know you're a hunter, but you can figure it out. You can do it, you it's can the do blue it. blue one. Uh, he, he doesn't like thinking. Hey, come on, let's burn this. He's healing, out. he's healing. Wait, you get that green. Kill it, kill it, kill it, come on, baby, come on, baby! Good. Yes! Yes! Worst way to play that ever! After that mess, Talani started the chess event before everyone was ready. But it's pretty difficult to lose that one. However, I have to admit, I've actually played with a group and we lost chess. But of course, I was AFK the whole time, grinding down a gallon of mint chocolate chip. I swear! With that said, it's no surprise that our guys cleared it easily. When the guys faced not only Prince, but the legion he commands. They worked through the rough infernal placement to beat him down. 12 bosses, 22 badges later, and a bunch of epics, Project Lore had cleared Karazhan. And it only took three weeks. Whereas it should actually take three hours. Oh, it's kind of close. Oh, he is in bad placement. Not close. Uh, I think you're okay. Hey, we're gonna, we're gonna be okay. Jimmy's taking damage for sure. Okay. Bad placement. Bad placement. Yeah, you're gonna have to move him. Ugh. Am I close enough to you guys? Yeah, yeah, stop. Just yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna move him. He is so angry. Oh, and another one? Oh, jeez. Come on, here we go. 4%. God. Good work. Keep him across. Keep no, Dorkins, don't die. Come on. Dorkins, go ahead and die. It's all good. Dorkins. I'll just Bane keep dead. Let's keep the, uh. <laughs> let's keep the total DPS. Percent. There we go. Uh, do it! Um, Kill him! Die already! Nice. nice! Now let's move on to our viewer questions. Notar asks, I'm a rogue, but in most of your videos, Dr. Dark is replaced by Schnoobins. My question is, will I be useless in upcoming instances or even burning crusade instances? I'm only level 67. Keep up the good work. Aw, Dr. Dark? Ah, Notar. The everlasting question of why Schnoobins exists. <laughs> uh, so funny story, when we started Project Lore, I uh, basically rounded up everybody from uh, the Totally Rad Guild who currently lived in Los Angeles or, as in Juggernaut's case, uh, you know, hour and a half outside of Los Angeles to, to do this show. And one of the things that we realized early was we didn't have enough crowd control. Rogues will always be some of the top DPSers. They're very good at crowd control on the fly. Um, uh, and now that with Wrath of the Lich King, we're going to actually be able to sap more types of mobs it used to just be humanoid. Uh, I always see them as a viable a choice. The reason why we go to with Schnoobins in, in our situation is because without having that main full-on sheep crowd control, which is I mean, as good crowd control as you can get in the game right now. Again, Wrath of the Lich King is going to change a lot of that. Shaman gets Hex. I think Warlock gets something that's sort of like Hex. Um, 
and a lot of the cooldowns are taken off for all the crowd control stuff. So crowd control is not going to be as much of an issue as it used to be. Um, but we really needed to have that ranged crowd control off the bat. You know, um, Also, sap doesn't work in combat. You can be resheeping all the time with sap. You get that one shot to sap. If they resist it, believe me, if Vanish is not up and it resists the sap, uh, it's called a party wipe, which is not good. So definitely huge fan of being a rogue. Um, only use Schnoobins in situations where we, where we need that extra little bit of crowd control, but rogues are always going to be viable, and uh, they're looking pretty hot towards Wrath of the Lich King, so stick with it. Get up to 80 soon. We hope you all enjoyed the first ever raid on Project Lore. Coming up next week, the boys are going to be running yet another instance in the Wrath of the Lich King beta. This time, they'll be heading into a level 80 instance, the Halls of Lightning. That sounds crazy cool. What lies ahead? We'll find out next week.